The party often compared to a big tent, a home for those whose top issues span a wide range of priorities, already seeing firsthand what that means. This as President Joe Biden prepares to pass the torch to his vice president Kamala Harris, surrounded by Democrats, hoping to show a united front. Meanwhile, protesters outside expressing anger and frustration, in particular for the Biden administration's support for Israel as it carries out its war in Gaza. And as people that are concerned with rights for bodily autonomy, we cannot keep silent when a genocide is happening, particularly when it's supported to the hilt by our own government. Battles have been heated in the city of Chicago over where the protests would take place. Activists angry their permitted protest zones were more than a mile away from the convention center. It speaks to a lack of accountability on our politicians' part. They don't really seem to want to hear from us right now. More than 200 organizations have joined forces to voice displeasure about a host of issues. A leftist anti-imperialist group behind enemy lines urging supporters to make 2024 as great as 1968, posting make bruises from Chicago police batons the 2024 back to school fall fashion. If there are troublemakers, they're going to get arrested and they're going to get convicted. Um, but the fact is that the vast majority of people who are protesting, and we've seen this before, are, you know, peaceful protesters. Chicago police are already in full force with more than 500 outside officers in town to help plus federal law enforcement agents on the ground, where the current president, two former presidents, and the woman hoping to become president will all gather this week. In Chicago, I'm Christine Frizzow.